I'll just clip it off the front at the vent, at the end. That shit was funny. I ain't gonna hate on it. These things happen, man. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself before you can laugh at someone else. Them's the rules. At least the rules I grew up with. So, what I was saying was, uh, I was watching some, some, oop, shaking the camera, damn it. Uh, I was, uh, watching some reaction videos, and a couple half and J is their, uh, channel name, and they were talking about having issues, and the grind really getting to them, and so they had to take a break, and they're back now, and I'm glad, glad to hear that. Um, but it, their talk made me think of uh, this song here uh, from this guy called Akira the Dawn, right? Well, two songs, but anywho. Um, yeah, let's roll it. This guy, um, Akira the Dawn, what he does, he uh, takes spoken word. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard to get people to listen to spoken word. They just can't do it. They... But what he does, he takes music and mixes it with portions of the spoken word to get the point across. Uh, he calls it meaning wave, as you can see right there. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So Jocko Wilnick, Unbroken. Here it comes. Those videos are really good, too. Takes what these, I uh, when I'm broken. these anime things. When I'm broken, I relish it. I relish it. catch what he said you know you can't find where you really need to work until you break and that might be overstating it a little bit but i i truly believe it you know because in my life there's dicked around until you really hit hit the wall on something and then you got to figure out how to get around that wall get over that wall get through that wall to get to the other side and that's that's what he's talking about so, uh, fill in that gap. I can reinforce that breach. If you break, it means it's time to fortify your will to make it stronger. When I'm broken, I relish it. Obstacle can help define you and 
you know, in whether you give up, just lose. You never really lose until you give up. Anyway, Percy, this, I don't know, I find Jocko really, really motivational. Man, he put, the way he talks sometimes, it just puts a fire in your belly and you want to go out there and get it done. So, oops. Keep on hitting the record button. That's not what I want. I want to unpause. You don't, just to fall apart. But there's also... He loves his anime. There's an opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more yeah. stable and get more resilient. Yeah. And get, and get, and get better. Yeah, that's how it is. Go out there and you do work and you get better. Figure out how to do things better. I relish it. When I'm broken, I relish it. I relish it. When I'm broken, I relish it. Video is just super like visually interesting. hardcore right there man that's see to be able to it's the whole like rocky five thing well that's a really great quote it's like it's not about how many times you get knocked down it's about how many times you can get knocked down and get back up so yeah there's another one we're gonna do here real quick Just do a do a twofer uh it's another one from akira the dawn um, this is Jocko Podcast oh, number 98. No, not Jocko 98. Sorry, we're not doing that. Although, you should go check out Jocko's podcast because he's just, he talks about really intense shit. And uh, honestly, he, there's a post I made about this on somebody's channel or someone's, anyway. Um, there was a point in my life where I was really resentful and not too long ago either. It was just things in the world were just not right with me, my life, the world in general. It was pretty effed up, man. But, uh, you know, Jordan Peterson, oh, I should bring up the post and show it. Like, Jordan Peterson saved my life. 
Joe Rogan got me interested in things and ideas again. This guy Jocko here, he uh, he put the fire back in my belly. And good old Tom McDonald, he uh, he's given the words to describe what I'm seeing around me, so it's not so disheartening, honestly. Because you gotta like, you gotta remain unbroken. You, know, you got to be able to get up and keep moving. So, and as you get older, this song's for the old folks in the house. We're watching this later on. Bring it. Oh, hold on. Start over. Does the complacency come with Let's age? And do I have the urge to back off? Negative. Negative. Back off? Not happening. I hear that. I'm over 40, I'm pushing 50, whatever. Bring it. Back off, negative, not happening. In fact, I'm stepping up. up. I'm training harder, eating cleaner. I'm training more. I'm learning and reading and studying more. Clock ticking. That's what I hear. And the end is nigh. And time waits for no, no man. man. Crazy Jocko face. That doesn't mean hot girl summer. Go out and bang everything you see, or guys, you know. I I know we like to do it, but man, just gotta gotta watch what you're doing these days, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, this goes beyond that that kind of thing. This is like in life in general. You gotta go out and get it. Forty, but you are and you will. In the earlier you. Better life you're gonna have. Healthier, wealthier, stronger, smarter, better. Better. And if you're an old that may mean different things for men and women in some cases. We'll watch some. I'm I'm a Kevin Samuels like Manosphere community kind of fan, so I have my ideas about that. But it's all about choices too. Everyone's free to do what they want to do in this country, and that's what makes it great. I'm also a big fan of the United States and the American experiment. So it's all about freedom of choice, but you gotta. There's consequences, man. That's why you gotta fight to do the best you can every single day, every single hour. Old man. Like me. Everything you gotta fight. Dude, I listen to this on my bike. This is such like a 
This is such a good bike song because you just like, ugh, just, ugh, ugh, just, <laughs> even your legs are like burning, and then you're just like, oh, I want to stop, but it's like, no, nah, man, I'm fighting, I'm pushing through this. We're getting up this hill, or getting around, uh, getting to the next point where we can stop. Oh man, I love this. I love it. Go check out Akira the Don um, and Jocko's website or their various socials and whatnot. I'll link them in the ch in the uh, comments. But yeah, Jocko Wilnick, Willink. I always say his name. I always mess up his name. Sorry, Jocko. Don't don't beat me up, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, Jocko. He's a that guy. He's got his head on straight and. Help put some fire back in your belly if you're just missing it. If... That's what he did for me, man. I was less than motivated. You know, and I kind of mentioned the other people, you know, I, but uh, that helped me out. But I believe he's part of the team that uh, can put us back on the right track. You know, I. Right now, I mean, just as as a whole in the Western world, we got some problems that we're not dealing with, and kind of beat up on ourselves. And it's like, what the f why? I would, every society has done bad stuff, and we're actively trying to not do that. So to crap on ourselves is, seems counterproductive, and something that. Our enemies would want us to do, so let's not do that. Let's remain unbroken and let's fight, and then we'll get a victory out of it. Whether it's that victory, or you know, I'd like to see some peaceful victory, but we gotta fight for it. We gonna fight. But where it is let's do our best keep riding see you next time